very long day of driving around Malaga, Marbella, Costa del Sol. La Costa, La del, Costa Sol. del Sol. Here with Motoman. Marbella. My official partner Take for this exit. part of the world. Of course. <laughs> I am the only person you can drive in, in Southern Spain. Yeah. So, and we are in the other variant of this uh, new S90, the station wagon, the V90. And this is a car that, to me, I remember when I was a little kid, we had an AMC Rambler station wagon, yellow. You've told me this, I cannot believe you grew up on AMC. Well, it was my godfather was the head of AMC in Mexico. So we had the Pacer, the Grimbley, oh, the, the Matador, the, the everything, Matador? the Javelin, everything. Oh. We had, I mean, but it was what it was. I if, mean, it was. If there, <laughs> there was no other company that had the worst designs on the planet. Dick Teague. Until Pontiac came out. No, <laughs> with Pontiac the good car. Well, that was a horrible design. But even that's better than anything that Dick Teague did uh, yeah. at AMC. But anyway, so we're in the station wagon. And we're in this we're, lovely little town, by the way. Yeah, a little... Coin, which 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 town is Coin? Coin. Coin. Yeah. We are in Coin. I like saying Coin. Yeah. So. I love hanging out with you because I get to say fancy Spanish yeah. words. And now you get a good teacher because from you told me some other teachers you have for Spanish. Not I'm not so going to say the words no, because your audience no, it won't doesn't, like it. It doesn't mean anything. So you can say whatever. Oh, you, you know want. you shortchanged your audience before. <laughs> that advertisement we saw with the bull. Yeah. What famous movie was that in? Okay, that Please was take in the third exit at the roundabout. She's very annoying. Yeah, the the bull that we see all around the roads in Spain, not that many anymore, but that's a bull from the Osborne brandy, uh, that, and that was the way to advertise when it was illegal to advertise alcohol like openly. So they only put a bull, and that's the way they advertise the the brand. But that famous bull was in a movie, one of the first movies of Penelope Cruz. Yes. And uh, they the made love there, so that's where we saw... After that he got into a fight with the other guy vying us for affection, exactly. where they beat each other with, with legs of jamón. Exactly, that's the name, jamón, jamón. Jamón, So that's, and in, I'm going to teach you something in Spanish. Okay. Jamón, in some parts of the world, you can tell that to a woman that it's really beautiful. It's very vulgar yeah. way of saying it, but it's like, oh. un buen jamón. <laughs> <laughs> so you learned some good Spanish now. I'm gonna try that when I get back. To bad, California. like bad taste, but good Spanish. So Very anyway, Spanish. let's go back to the station wagon. That's what we are here for. We are here for. Well, in this part of the world, isn't it an estate wagon? Yeah, uh, and in Mexico they call them guajin. Guajin. Yeah. Why guajin? Is that wagon I, I have in no idea. I have no idea. And actually, Please turn left in 200 meters. Do you know? I learned. I, I re really learned that when we were at the Jeep event. Uh, for the 75th anniversary Jeep event and they have the Wrangler with what like kind of Wajin. Yeah. And this is one of those things that when somebody mentioned it from Mexico, it's one of the words that I have never heard like maybe in 20, 25 years yeah. or more. And they're like, oh, I know that word, but I don't know what it means. So it's a Wajin, so a station wagon. Now in Wisconsin, I can tell you these things are called pig fair cars. Okay. Because the, the, the farmers used to take their pigs in the back of these things oh, wow. to now the farmer's left. market. Okay, my father could have said that of us, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, very popular in some parts of the world, especially here in Europe, but not especially so much in the U.S. I mean, it's a beautiful car, very why. utilitarian, much more elegant than a SUV, but Absolutely. still, the Americans don't like it. What's that? Why is that? I think they're, this is just my two cents. I think what's happened is over the years, cars have gotten smaller. Yeah. And as cars, meaning cars, like real passenger cars have gotten smaller, people have wanted a bigger car. Because remember when you and I yeah. grew up, there were station wagons, they were like these they huge were long. Oldsmobiles. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah they, were, they were as long as a house. But now, because cars, passenger cars, are small, I think the biggest segment is a C-segment car. Families want more space. And I think when, I, do you realize it was Bob Lutz that invented the SUV as we know today? Know, yeah. He's the one that pushed Ford to put out the Explorer in 1991. Yeah. So when they offered a vehicle that size that was drivable like a car, I think Americans just literally dropped station wagons like a bad habit. And But I think that that phenomenon has been reversed nowadays because you see the Accord. The Accord is a huge car now. Yes, the Accord is I mean, the Camry cool. yeah. is huge. I agree. And like even the Civic, it's almost as big as the previous generation of Accord. Accord exactly. So, I mean, the, the small is big, the medium is bigger, and, and the bigger is like huge now. So, but anyway, I mean, these cars are fantastic because they have a lot of space. And for example, we're going to show you something here. This is the shape the for the sunroof, panoramic yeah. sunroof. Just count how long it takes. 
to open it completely. One thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand. There you go. And I started late, so let's call exactly, it eight, like one thousand. Eight, or, eight seconds. or nine or ten. I mean, it's amazing uh, how big that is, and the panoramic roof. You're gonna see. But it. I it's love beautiful. how it opens up the entire car. Exactly. And, you know, and, and this the, is not the only car to do this, but I think when it comes to cars like these, these family cars where you're gonna have the rugrats in the back. I feel like it makes it more of an open, airy space to share with your family. Absolutely. Kind of like kitchens and homes today. They, open they, concept. Yeah, and they're open to the to the great room or yeah. the family room rather than being off in a corner. So in this case, it's open to the sky. And here today, beautiful oh, day. beautiful day today. In uh, Malaga. The, sun, the hill of Coimbra. So, so this car is going to come later this year, no, later next year to the United States. As a S, no B90. A B90. This is the V's. The V's are the wagons Two, and yeah. the S's are sedans. 2017. Um, but unfortunately, not a lot of people are going to buy it in the well, States. Here's the thing about Volvo, and you could say the same thing about Mercedes with the E Class. The way they make a business case for these things, they already know yeah. they're going to sell a ton in Europe, they're going to sell a ton in the Middle East. I know. But more importantly, they say to themselves, you know what? We're going to bring it to the US. And, and see what it's happens. only got to sell 2,000 units in order to pay for the business case. Yeah. Now, as a basis of comparison, Toyota sells 455,000 Camrys a year. No, they sell 2,000 Camrys every day. Exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, obviously, so uh, the, it's, it's a, a different... A Camry sale a day equals exactly. an annual sale right of this. For a station wagon. But I'm willing to go on record and say... Let's say Volvo is banking on 2,000 sales a year. I think they'll do four to 5,000 of this. Yeah, and people, when they get into it, they're going to love it because this car, as the S90, has all the technology, all the luxury, all the fine details of this new generation of Volvo cars. But it has so, utility in the back. Yeah, exactly. And more elegant. And so. did you know that they actually have a, they have a tow hook in the back? Yeah. That, it's so a, this it's is a very, very capable car. Out. It's completely capable. Very car with capable. the all-wheel drive. With uh, like the the new uh, engines with four cylinder engines, and don't turbo forget charge, the, supercharge. the, the uh, T8 system, which is not a serial hybrid. Yeah. It's actually a parallel hybrid, which means the engine, the motors in the rear driving the rear drive only, and then you've got the starter generator motor in the front that provides boost to increase the fuel economy. Yeah. So maybe, just maybe, we're gonna go back to the future and see. The station wagon gain so. some some uh, grand land in the in the U.S. again. I totally hope so. And look at you got this coming, yeah. and then you also that new E-Class coming. Now here's the interesting thing: the E-Class, you know, it's going to be seventy grand. Oh yeah, at least. So they didn't announce pricing, but they already said the T5 S90 sedan is forty-five thousand dollars. So it's going to be much cheaper. Yeah. I would say this is going to be probably forty-eight. At forty-eight grand, that's almost twenty thousand dollars cheaper. Know than the E-Class. That's why I think this is going to sell more than 2,000 units a year. Well, we'll see. If, if that happens, we'll come back to Malaga and ride again. We'll together. ride another one. <laughs> we'll, we'll ride the T8. Thank you, Mauro Man. Yeah, the plug-in hybrid. And we'll watch Hamon. Hamon. Oh, that would be great. We yes. can, can we watch uh, videos car, on this grid? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I didn't see any TVs in the back of this thing. Well, yeah. maybe next, the next one. Okay, see you next time. Okay, ciao. From Coim. Oh, adios. Oh, adios. En español, por adios. favor. Adios. Gracias.